I'm 680 News Senior Business Editor Mike Apple. It's been around since 1670. Canada's oldest company, the Hudson's Bay Company, is now the subject of a privatization bid from its executive chairman and a group of investors which want to take the bay off the publicly traded markets and perhaps, again, look at another restructuring effort for the retail brand. Executive Chair Richard Baker is heading up a group to buy out the Bay shares for about one and a half billion dollars. This would include the company selling its current holdings in a joint venture in a European retail operation and raises some questions about what will happen to the HBC going forward. Of course, it also owns Saks Fifth Avenue and is looking for alternatives for its Lord and Taylor retail operations. Industry analysts say that uh, what is the real value uh, in the Bay right now is its real estate holdings. It was back in 2011 that Baker headed up the sale of the Bay's interest in Zeller stores to Target, which at that time brought in $1.8 billion. Investors in the Bay uh, saw a nice stock price pop today. It was up more than 25%, but it's less than half of where it was when it went public a number of years ago. Well, the stock markets were breathing a sigh of relief today as the Trump administration uh, caught an 11th hour deal with Mexico on trade and migration, and that averted the escalation of a trade battle between the U.S. and Mexico, where tariffs were set to be imposed on Mexican exports as of today. But with that uh, non-starter now, basically that can restart the signing of the NAFTA, the North, new North American free trade deal, the U.S. Mexico-Canada free trade agreement might be signed off in coming days between the three countries. Markets were sharply higher on Wall Street for a sixth day on the Dow. And Wall Street's already coming off its best week of the year in the previous week's trade. Also of note today, a mega deal in the defense industry. Two of the biggest defense contractors in the world, United Technologies, which makes the engines for the F-35 Joint Strike Fighter, and Raytheon, which makes Patriot missiles and satellite technology. These two are teaming up in a $75 billion mega deal. United Technologies also owns Otis elevators and carrier air conditioners, but it's planning to spin those off into a separate company later this year. And the faux meat craze continues. Beyond Meat today hit $170 per share. Back on May 2nd, it debuted at $25 per share. It has been onward and upward ever since. This last week, they raised their earnings guidance. There's lots of expectation that they're going to sign all sorts of partnership agreements with restaurant companies around the world. And with today's rally, of more than $31 per share, the company is worth over $10 billion U.S. From the 680 Newsroom, I'm Mike Apple for City News.